Part 18. We are going to continue with indices. You will find this on page 96 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, let's just go through this useful hint again. When working with indices, write the basis as the product of the prime factors. That will help you to simplify it without a calculator. Okay, let's look at the following examples. Evaluate the following. So what will I do? I will take that 32 and I will break it up into the product of its prime factors. And then there will be a double index. And then I will just multiply this. The fives will cancel out and I get 3. And 2 to the power of 3 will be 8. Okay. So this is the one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, I can make use of the root. So remember, the, the top one is inside. And the bottom one is outside. And if I work out this, I will get exactly the same answer. In this case, <coughs> first make it an improper fraction. So 3 times 8 is 24, plus 3 is 27 over 8. Break it into the product of its prime factors. Then multiply, multiply. And that answer will be 3 over 2. Exactly the same, make it an improper fraction. Take the root. And then the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 8 will be 2. So it works exactly to the same answer. Then in this case, if the base is 10 or 100 or 1,000, do not use prime factors. It's better to use 10 is 10 to the power 1, 100 is 10 to the power 2, and 1,000 is 10 to the power 3. So basically, this is 4 over 100. Break this one up into the product of prime factors. This one, 10 to the power 2. And if you multiply, you get 1. And if you multiply, you get 1. And you can simplify this to 1 over 5. Again, this one, make it at first a vulgar fraction. And then take the square root and you get 2 out of 10, which is also 1 over 5. Okay. I want you to do number A, um, number C, number E, and number H. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. This is try now 32. And you will find this on page 97 in the textbook. Okay. Let's start with number A. So if it's 81 and it's 3 quarters. Okay. So if I do this one... The best will be to break it up in the product of prime factors. So let's just quickly remind you. Uh, take 3, and that's 27. You use prime numbers. And 3 and 9, and 3 and 3 and 3 and 1. So this will give me 3 to the power of 4, and if I multiply it with 3 quarters. Okay. And if I multiply, the 4s cancel out. So it's 3 to the power of 3. And 3 to the power of 3 will be equal to 27. Okay, let's look at number C. Um, if it's 2, 2, and 7 over 9, so, and it's to the power of negative a half. So, in this case, I will first make it an improper fraction. So 2 times 9, that will be 18, plus 7. So that will give me an answer of 25 over 9. And that's to the power of negative a half. Now, I, if I break it up into prime factors, that will be 5 to the power 2 and 3 to the power of 2. Just the same as I did it there. And now if I multiply this, I, it's, it's going to work like this. I multiply this one with this one as well as this one with this one. So what will I get? I will get 5. <coughs> and if I multiply this, I get negative 1. And if I multiply this, I also get negative 1. Now remember, if I want to make this one positive, I take it up. And if I want to make this one positive, I take it down. So I'm actually taking the reciprocal. So this will give me 3 to the power 1, 5 to the power 1, and the answer will be 3 over 5. That will be my final answer. Okay, I'm just going to make space. Mm. 
So the first one, number E. So if it's 2.25 and it's to a power of an half. Now in this case, I can first make this also a vulgar fraction. So if I make it a vulgar fraction, let's first take, and this is 25 over 100, and it's to the power of a half. But I can simplify this first, because 25 can go in 1, 25 can go into 100 four times. So it's 2 and a quarter, and it's to the power of a half. And now I make it an improper fraction. So 2 times 4, that will be 8 plus 1, so that will be 9 over 4. And that's to the power of a half. And then I make it, um, so it's 3 to the power 2, 2 to the power of 2, and that's to a half. And then this will be, if I multiply, remember, I multiply like this. This times this, this also times this. So this is going to give me, then it's 3 to the power of 1, and it's 2 to the power of 1. So it's 3 over 2. Or it's one and a half. And that will be my final answer. Okay. <coughs> and then the last one. Let's just make space. That's number H. So it's f 4 to the power of a half. Times 25 to the power 3 over 2. Times 9 to the power negative a half. So in this case, I'm, I'm making it also the product of the prime factors. So it will be 2 to the power 2, and that's a half, times 5 to the power 2, and that's 3 over 2, over 3 to the power 2, and that's negative a half. So that's going to give me an answer of, okay, now remember, I'm going to multiply. So this is going to be 2. Remember, put it over 1. Then the 2's cancel out, or 2 over 2, and it's 1. This one, put it over 1. So the 2's can cancel out, to the, so it's to the power of 3. And then this one, put it over 1. So the 2's cancel out, and it's negative 1. And then I'm going to say it's 2 times um, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And now this one goes up to become positive, so it's 3 to the power 1. And if I multiply all this, I will get an answer of 750. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's just look at this one. It's more or less the same. I break it up into the product of its prime factors. And now I just do like that division. So I say 3 divide 3, it's 1. 3 divide 3, it's 1. 6 divide 3, it's 2. 6 divide 3, it's 2. 9 divide 3, is 3. And then it's 3xy squared. So 2 times 2 is 4z to the power of 3. And then I want you to do the following one for me. Just do try now 33, number B, as well as number D. Again, you can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. So let's start with try now. Okay, let's start with number B. So if I look at this one, so it's A and it's 2 over 3. And it's B and it's minus 6. Okay, now if I simplify, remember this is 2. So if I simplify this, this first one, 33, then I'm just going to do it like this. Um, I'm just going to show you. So it's A. You can say it's 2 over 3 divided by 2. Okay, I'll simplify this now. And it's B. It's minus 6 divided by 2. Now if I simplify this, let's just simplify it here. Put it over 1. So it's 2 over 3 times, take the reciprocal, 2. And it cancel and it's a third. So this will give me A to a third, and this guy going to give me B to the power of, um, this is negative 3. Negative 3. So negative 6 divided by 2, it's negative 3. And if I want to really simplify this, I can take this back into a root, and remember it's over 1, and this one will go down. 
So this will be A. I can take it to a root, which is free, because there's the one inside, the free outside, and that is B to the power of free. That will be my final answer. Okay. And then um, let's just make space for the next one. And if I look at this one, it's going to be 81, A, 8, B, 4, and 4. So basically, break 81 into the prime factors. And if you can remember from the previous, remember it's just 81, and it's 3, and 27, 3, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. But it's just, it was 3 to the power of 4. And then A, 8, B, 4, and this the 4. So this will be 3, 4 over 4, A, 8 over 4, B, 4 over 4. And this is going to be 3 to the power of 1, A to the power of 2, and B. And this is going to be my final answer. Okay, let's look at the last one. If you look at this one, it's more or less the same. Break it up into the product of its prime factors. Take this one up. And then basically just multiply this in. This is what I did. And then if the bases are the same, what will I do with the, with the indices? I will just add it up. And then they cancel out the x, and it's negative 1, and then take it to the bottom to make this one positive. Okay, and I just want you to do 1, and that will be trinomial 34, and that will be number B. I'm just going to move it a little bit up. I'm going to make space. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So this was try now. 34. So if I look at number B, so this was 2, and this was 3x minus 5. Multiply a quarter, and it's 2x minus 3. Multiply 2x plus 2. Okay, so if I look at this one, it's 2, 3x minus 5. Multiply, now remember, 4, 4, it's just 2, 2, 2, 1. So it's 2 to the power of 2. <coughs> but if I take it up, <coughs> now remember, I'm just going to show you here, it's 1 over 2 to the power 2. Let's just take another color. But if I bring it up, it's 2 to the power negative 2. So <coughs> basically, this is just going to be 2 to the power of negative 2, and it's 2x minus 3. Multiply 2 to the power x plus 2. Now let's just simplify. So 2, 3x minus 5. Multiply 2. So this is negative 4x plus 6, multiply 2x plus 2. Now, can you see all the bases are the same? And if the bases are the same, I keep the base and I just add all the indices. So it's plus, okay, negative 4x plus 6 plus x plus 2. But basically, if I look at this, let's just see my like terms. So this is like, this is like, this is like. And if you're just going to, then you're going to say 3 plus 1, it's 4x minus 4x. So basically, all of them just cancel out. Now, this is negative 5 plus 6, so it's 1. So 1 plus 2, that's 3. So that will be 2 to the power of 3. And 2 times 2 times 2, that will give me a final answer of 8. And that's how you work with this. Very, very important. Let's just take you up to that. And I think this was the previous page. Let's just go. This is very important. Uh, a very useful hint. When working with indices, write the basis as the powers of the prime factors.